Hi, this is Lauren Quick. I'm here with Chris Sorby. She's just expanded her mentoring program. And Chris, I just wanted to ask you about how you would help new hairdressers in terms of talking to clients about color and clients who maybe haven't explored the world of color yet, how you would kind of orchestrate that conversation. You know, Lauren, first of all, I'm delighted that you even are interested in having this conversation. And the reason that I say that is because not enough people put enough importance into the consultation that we have to have with clients. And it's not just a new client, it's even if you've been doing a client's hair for 10 years, it's still so crucial to have, an, uh, have the time and make the time to have a consultation with her every time she comes into the salon. And the reason that I say that is because Okay, we could be talking about your hair today, and I'm going to talk about your hair in a minute. Um, and, but at the same time, you might have an amazing, huge event coming up in six to nine months' time. And you might say to me in six to nine months' time, oh, by the way, I want to put my hair up, but we cut it off in the interim. I need to know things like that. So it's important that when you have that consultation, you talk about the immediate, the today. You know, what are we going to do today? What's exciting that we can do to really, to give you a, a new boost, because we've had enough of this winter, now we want to move into the spring, what are we going to do? But also, what are we going to do long term? So let's start with now. You look to me like you have never colored your hair not ever colored my hair. <laughs> so you're a rare person in our world. <laughs> um, so you have, the, first of all, you have the most beautiful hair. Uh, not just the, the color of it, but also the abundance of it, the texture of it. So if I was going to t talk to you in terms of hair color, I would imagine that with redheads, they either detest their color or they're scared to change it because they actually like it. Which one are you? I'm pretty fond of my hair. <laughs> oh, good. So, you know, so that then tells me that you really wouldn't be looking to cut much off. You wouldn't be looking to change the style too much and certainly not change the color that much. Is, am I right in thinking that? You would be correct. Okay, good. <laughs> so you see how we're having a conversation about it. It's not like, well, what do you want today? It's not like, the, oh, do you want some highlights in it? You know, think about how would you like to be spoken to when you're consulting with a client? So going, that was just a little out frame there. <laughs> So if I was to say to you, you know, for the spring, would you like it to be, to have more richness about it, as well as having some lighter pieces put in around the front so that it looked like it was sun-kissed? I would think that was great. Yeah. I, think, I think subtle highlights could be a good way to kind of introduce my hair to color. Yeah, and you know, we don't even need to go with, you know, when you think about highlights, you tend to think of a all overhead of color that can be like vertical stripes. So when I'm talking about highlighting your hair, I'm talking about touching where the sun would kiss your hair. That's where I would like to add some color. So it's not like, you know, highlights that come from the root all the way down to the ends necessarily. So it's a little bit more on a balayage effect where we're not lightening from the scalp all the way down. We're lightening maybe just areas of it where your natural wave happens so that <clears throat> whoever's looking at your hair notices that you have a natural wave pattern going on, but that there's more life in your hair. So no one would actually ever say to you, did you color your hair, Lauren? they would be like, your hair looks really pretty when the sun catches it. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. So you see, let's out frame again here. You see the dialogue that I'm using. It's not normal hairdresser client language. It's more like, I can see in Lauren's face that she's first of all really interested in the conversation that we're having and she's thinking, damn, how long does that take? <laughs> can Chris do it now? Because it's, I'm speaking to her in a way that probably a hairdresser hasn't spoken to her before. And this is what we need to do in our business today. We need to give our clients a really different experience every time they come into the salon, whether it's from 
picking up the telephone and speaking to us on the end of the phone and hearing passion in our voice, or whether it's sitting down like Lauren and I are right now, having a conversation about her hair. So really ignite that curiosity in your client's mind, but don't talk to them in terms of highlights, lowlights, all over color. They don't need to know how you're gonna achieve it, they just need to know what is the effect that you're going to achieve. So do you think you'd be excited about that? I was actually thinking we probably need to wrap this up so that I can schedule a coloring appointment with you. <laughs> right. um, so I can get my hair colored. Yes, that would be wonderful. Absolutely, and I'd be delighted to do that. So, um, you know, in what you were saying about mentoring, I think that also is a, a great opportunity to, to, for me to go into salons to talk to salon teams about how they can change the way that they consult with their clients. Because so often, I do a lot of in-salon programs, and so often the, the client, uh, the owner of the salon will say to me, can you teach my team how to speak to their clients? And you know, my answer is, well, text them. Because <laughs> that's what we're all doing now, but you know, but that's not the point. We're in the business of people. We're in the business of making people look beautiful and feel comfortable. So the more conversational we can make it, the better we can. So mentoring on consultation is also an option for you. But Lauren, it was lovely to meet you, and I'd love to do your hair. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. And we just got a free consultation from Chris, <laughs> exclusively for Modern. Thanks so much. You're